SC6-2. This is my volcanic experiment for my science performance task. Before we do this experiment, we have to make sure that we are wearing appropriate clothing. Like me, I am wearing a laboratory gown. And we should also wear a face shield. The materials for this is baking soda, dish soap, red food coloring, and vinegar. Now, let us start the experiment. The first step is to put baking soda. Next, we are going to add the dish soap. Next, we are going to put the red food coloring. Then, we are going to put the vinegar. And now it has exploded. That is all. Thank you. What made the volcano erupt? This demonstration shows an acid-base reaction. In this kind of reaction, the acid, vinegar, chemically reacts with the base the baking soda, and the two release carbon dioxide gas which bubbles out. The liquid soap helps make, helps make the lava foamy. Does vinegar temperature affect how fast the volcano erupts? The temperature of vinegar does increase the rate of reaction according to the collision theory. This theory basically states that reactions occur when reactant molecules bump or collide into each other. When you increase the temperature, which is the average speed of molecules, the quicker speed makes it more likely for them to bump into each other. Therefore, the reaction is quicker due to the increase in collisions. The colder vinegar produces less carbon dioxide. Does the combination of baking soda and vinegar create the biggest eruption? The eruption was quite big. When baking soda is mixed with vinegar, something new is formed. The mixture quickly foams up with carbon dioxide gas. If enough vinegar is used, all of the baking soda can be made to react and disappear into the vinegar solution. Conclusion: The red lava is the result of a chemical reaction between the baking soda and vinegar. In this reaction, the carbon dioxide gas is produced. Pressure builds up inside the plastic bottle until the gas bubbles out of the volcano.